Hi there, this is David Weiner at AppWorks, and today I'm going to be starting a new series of videos called FileMaker Cool Tricks, and uh, that's basically what I'm going to show you, some cool tricks, handy little features that you may not have been aware of or you may not have even thought about, but um, they can come in handy at different times. So the first one I'm going to go over is basically um, uh, a technique where you can ask the user before they close their last window. So normally, if you've only got a one window user interface, which is pretty standard, um, it's pretty clear that if I shut this window, I'm logged out. I'm, I'm logging out, and if I want to go back into it, I'm going to have to log back in. Um, but sometimes, people like to use multiple windows. So they might have one window over here, and they're using a second window here to compare things um, with this first window. They might even have a third or fourth window open, holding some other data that they're looking at simultaneously. Um, while they're checking invoices and et cetera, et cetera. So now it can get pretty complicated and sometimes you may just go, oh, I'm gonna shut this window. And then you go, oh, and you've got other windows open and you shut this one and then you shut this one and you're like, whoops, oh, that's right. I didn't wanna shut that window. I don't wanna actually log out. So you can hit cancel and now it doesn't shut the last window. So the way that works is basically instead of just a close window script step on this button, there are uh, there's actually a script and it counts the number of windows that you have open on this file, uh, and if it's only one window left, it will cancel. It will, it will ask you um, the dialog whether you actually want to close this window. If you say yes, it just logs you out. Um, if you say no, it cancels, and I'll show you how that actually works using our script debugger. So what we do is if we close this window, it's performing script called close window. Pretty straightforward. So first of all, it gets a value count of using the window names function and using the get file name. So what we're doing here is we're, the window names returns the names of all the windows that are currently open in the file that you specify. If you use get file name, then that just gets the file name that you currently are in and have open. So and then you value count counts the list. So if it has three uh, windows open, you'll have a list of three names, and your value count will equal three. So if it equals one, that means you're on the last window. Uh, since we're not on the last window, no problem. Just close the window. And that's what happens. Pretty straightforward. If we get to this window, this one also, we count the number of windows, there's two open. Close the window. If, however, we try this one, this time the value count of the window names in this current file is only equal to one. So now we go, show custom dialog, do you really want to log out? And if I say cancel, we look for the get last message choice equals one, which is that highlighted button, which is yes, log out. If I pressed one, then it will just close this window and that's the last window and we've logged out. If, however, I hit two or anything else, we exit the script, and you'll notice here that it says, this says text result false. So um, that will actually cancel whatever was about to happen. Now that's not really useful right here, but what if your user doesn't actually push this button and they just close this button? Well, we also have the script running. And in this case, if we hit cancel, we're gonna see the exit script false, which means cancel the last thing that was going to happen, which was close this window. So it actually s prevents this window from being closed. And the way that we have that triggered is that we go into file options on this file, and under script triggers, we choose on last window close, and we choose this script. So any window that you have open in this file, if it's the last one, it'll ask you for this. And if I hit cancel, it just cancels the window close. This time, if I hit log out, it closes the window. And that's the whole technique. Thanks for watching, and hope you watch some more.